Let's take some time to unpack the Diamond League meet in Stockholm. First we'll cover the women's 200m dash, with a somewhat surprising victory for the current UK champion Daryl Nita, followed closely by Dina Asher-Smith. Both these UK talents absolutely stole the show today with blisteringly fast times. Despite the disappointing rain, they still put on an amazing show and just sort of got on with it really. In a somewhat surprising fourth place, Marie Josie Toulouse from the Ivory Coast was almost setting everyone's eyes to win this race without an issue. The now 34 year old veteran sprinter finished in a rather disappointing placement of fourth. Perhaps the bad rain was to blame for this lacklustre performance. Needless to say, the two British athletes, Nita and Asher Smith, have lots to celebrate. Eight women competed in this race and here are their finishing times. Blistering paces all around and a fairly small gap between first and last place. Shortly after the race, Nita had these words to say. I'm just over the moon, it's my first ever Diamond League win. It was a very strong field. To come out on top just means everything to me. My coach said, you are the best. Mm -hmm. Go and do what we know you can do. And I feel like today I showed that. Moving on to the women's 1500 metre race. And the rain was absolutely pouring down during this one. Really surprised we had such fast finishing times. With an incredible win by the Ethiopian athlete Frawe Nehailu in a time of 4.02. Although this doesn't come close to any records, including meet records, Hailu held strong throughout the race, leading most of it. I think this really paid off for her success. With all three podium spots in this race going to the Ethiopian athletes, it's an amazing accomplishment for them. Although it would have been nice to see better performances from other areas of the world. Again, I think the rain was mostly to blame as this race also had two DNFs, which is a high percentage for such a short distance. Now over to the men's 400 meter hurdles. With a break in the heavy rain, Norwegian Karsten Warholm was able to finish with a tremendous gap in 47.57. With Chiron McMaster from the Virgin Islands coming in second and Rasmus Margi coming in a very close third. This wasn't even a race to be honest for Karsten. He finished with an almost two second gap between second place and looked to be on a galloping jog after the final hurdle. He really did make this race look effortless. Just to provide a short recap on the men's 3000 meter steeplechase, Sufin El Bakali from Morocco absolutely stole the show here, finishing in 8.09.84. And again, while not setting any records, he finished almost four seconds ahead of Getnet Whaley in second place. Similar to the women's hurdles that we discussed earlier, we had two DNFs here, although there was a slight pause in the rain, so I'm not too sure of the cause. With Sufain pointing, celebrating and practically jogging across the finish line. I do hope he gets better competition in the future, as I really do see this athlete breaking records. And finally, the men's 100 meters. With the rain starting up again and absolutely pouring down at this point, I was worried we wouldn't be able to get any fast times. Akani Simbine from South Africa surprised me and took the win again this year, finishing a time of 10.03. Now, I don't think this was as fast as he wanted. This is clear as well by the close second of Britain's Reese Prescott in 10.04 and German Joshua Hartmann in 10.23. Thankfully, no DNFs in this race. We did, however, get a disappointing performance from France's Jimmy Foucault in 13.34 almost three full seconds behind most of the competition. I think perhaps he chose to save his energy and his legs for another race after he saw the greatness of his competition. Here's what Akani Simbain had to say after the race. Yeah, yeah, I'm very pleased, very happy with the victory. Not happy with the conditions, but super consistent, you know, making sure the peak is at World Champs. Well, that's all about wrapped up for now. If you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like and subscribe so that you don't miss future content around the world of athletics. Let me know in the comments what topics you want me to cover next. Thanks for watching.